Hello, this is William Toll speaking to you. You know, this is a video that I have waited a long time to do. In a sense, I've been afraid to do this one, afraid that maybe you would judge me or that uh, it would ruin the connection that we have. But now I know that the video has to be done. I don't have my glasses on because I'm talking directly to you. I don't need a script. In fact, I have none. I need to tell you who I am and why I am among you. Why now? What authority do I have? And where am I taking you? So, I come to you because it is time for me to come. I come to you because I love you. You've heard me say that over and over and over again. 380 meetings throughout all of Deutschland. Hundreds of interviews, individual interviews. Hundreds more of videos made by others. I am brought back to Germany at this point in time because I must come back. You have a danger around you that you're not aware of. So I come uh, in love and I hope that you can accept me as I am. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't born to ask for this, but it's something that is absolutely necessary for your welfare. And I am willing to take the courage to address you tonight, and I'm willing to take the courage to be with you through these troubling times. My message to you is very good news. My being here means that you will be secure. You will be safe and your families will be safe. But the time you must go through is not going to be an easy one, but you will not go through it alone. I've told you who I am. Now, who has sent me? Why am I here? Well, I've said it over and over. God loves you. I love you. God has created you to be who you are. He created you to be German and to live in the land that he created for you. That's his plan. His plan is very simple, but you couldn't be farther off base from his plan now. And I think you know that. I think you're aware of that. My job is to bring you back, not back to the Third Reich or back to some specific period of time or 1871 or 1848. No, but to bring you back so that you can be yourself, to be comfortable in your own skin, to love you as God loves you and as I love you, just exactly as you are. Now, I've been fearful of recording this video. People say to me, well, everyone will judge you and they will rise up and, and you and Lisa will be in great danger. You know, I don't believe that. And perfect love overcomes and drives out all fear. And my love for you is stronger than my fear of what someone might do. So, I have been with you for a long time. I am connected to you at the deepest level. I call it Deutschtum, but you may call it something else. There's nothing to be frightened about, about being who God made you to be, about loving yourself as you are, where you are. But your enemies and the psychological operation and the world today has, has deceived you and thrown you off track and so far off track that I have to come back and help you find your way back. 
and I will do so in love, as I've done so, so far. I am not worried about what will happen to me. I'm only worried about what might happen to you. You do have a danger. There is a danger around you, and it is growing. You have chosen leaders based not upon your own best interest or who you are or a future that you have designed. Well, you've elected leaders that have been offered to you, leaders that uh, I would say maybe aren't really German at all. But there is a whole nation of you, a whole nation of you that wants to be relaxed, that wants to have joy, that wants to live in peace and prosperity and security. And that is what I am back for. A nation divided cannot stand, you know that. A people divided among themselves, they're not comfortable. There, there's, no, there's no ability for them to relax, which means love can't be fully extended or accepted. So my job is to love you, to risk my life for you, even if I have to give it up, and to make sure that you are prepared for a time to come that is different than the world that you have lived in for the past 80 years or however long you've been here. I'm speaking to young Germans, I'm speaking to the middle-aged Germans, and I'm speaking to those who are retired and those who are older. You need someone to guide you through this period of time. And I am here to do that. I have been devoted to you for a very long time, and I will stay with you during this period of time. You know who I am. It is God who has sent me, who has called me back from the mists and placed me here with you at this point in time. What authority do I have? Well, as long as I love you, I have a great deal of authority. I have a great deal of power. But I don't want to speak that with my mouth. Something that you need to see over time. So this is a video that I've avoided making because I was seriously afraid that you would judge me unmercifully. Not for who I am, but for what you've been taught about who I am. So I uh, ask you uh, to open your arms and open your hearts and to test. I have been saying that for many years now. Test me. Search me. Your heart will tell you the truth. There's very few voices speaking to you in the public realm that are not controlled from somewhere else with an attempt to control you. That's not what I want for you. That's not the reason that I'm back among you. I want you to be, feel, to be free and to feel free. I want you to be yourselves and find joy in that. So, uh, I will be back among you. Lisa and I will be back among you. We're not going to be surrounded by security because I do not believe that the people who we love have any desire to harm us in any way. I want to be fully transparent before you. And the way to do that is not to talk about it, but to be among you, to be part of you, to share your fears, your worries, and your aspirations, and to help you to find the path that you need to be on. Uh, the future is somewhat of a minefield. You need to be guided through that. So, thank you so much for the support you've shown Lisa and I over the past few years and how you've welcomed us into your home and into your hearts. So, we look very much forward to being part of you and it is a great honor for both of us that you would care for us and listen to us. Oh, we thank you, and I think that's probably enough for one night. 
So, thank you. This is William Toll speaking to you.